Hey, what's up you guys? Big Time Collector over one here, back at it again with another action figure review. And today, we'll be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Platinum Edition Reverse Flash. Yeah. I was lucky enough to find this in store at GameStop. You can tell it by the, you know, the price tag. A Platinum Edition that isn't really a Platinum Edition. Like, really, come on. It's not really a character I really care for. I mean, I saw it in store and I just had to get it just so I can talk about it. You got Reverse Flash on the side, New 52. Here is the barcode. Like, seriously, how is this a Chase variant if it's got its own UPC? Am I right? Here's the DC Infinite QR code on the back. You get some really cool artwork on the side. You just saw that top. So let's get to it and crack them open. Before we take a look at the figure, let's take a closer look at his accessories. First comes with your basic DC Multiverse base. Then a trading card. Nice image on the front. And on the back, you have a buy. I'm going to redeposit it right now. But for his actual accessories, it's nothing new. It's just these plug-in lightning effects that we've seen multiple times with this body mold. It is the same thing as that rebirth flash body. But you know I like these. I would I always like these plug-in accessories. You can take you can also take this one, you know, for the foot and plug it into the stand for some extra stability, which is cool. Now let's take a closer look at reverse flash. As you can see, it is the same body as that rebirth flash as I mentioned earlier. The only new part to this figure is the head sculpt, and it looks great. I really do like the new sculpt on the head, it looks awesome. It's got some nice, you know, sculpt work to it. I like the paint details, but that's really it. That's the only new thing about this figure. Everything else is just reuse from that old, you know, Rebirth Flash body, which we've seen multiple times. Just, you know, pulling out the Speed Metal Wally West, as you can see. Everything is the same other than the chest logo. This is the same one as the Reverse Flash one. And then the heads are obviously different. But where I will give this figure is a cool paint job. I really do like the color scheme for this figure. I do like the color scheme for the character at least you know the nice blacks and the reds but you know it's just painted on it would have been cool if it were sculpted on as you know a whole new sculpt but then that would have required it to be a you know single release i i bet like if it were all new sculpted it would be a single release which why isn't this figure not a single release like ugh, seriously i i don't want to dive into like oh why is this a platinum because we've heard it a hundred times already from not just me, but from so many different people. So I don't, I just don't want to get into that, you know, so, because we already know the deal. Just why is this a platinum? No articulation because we've seen this body mold a hundred times already. Like we've seen it a bunch with the Wally West figures, reverse flash, the rebirth flash. So yeah, there's no need to take a look at it yet again. But measuring him out, he comes to around seven and a half inches tall. Here he is next to the Speed Metal Wally West. As you can see, they share the same parts except for the head. And then here he is next to another Evil Speedster. We have Godspeed. Here's this Reverse Flash up in the rotating base. And I have to say this figure is pretty cool. I, again, it's just that Rebirth Flash body mold again just with a new head and, you know, a different paint job. It's a cool paint job. I do like the colors on the character. You know, the reds and the blacks and then those yellows as well. But, you know... You know, this is a Platinum Edition, so you're going to have a one hard time trying to find this guy. Like, this is... Uh, it's one thing to give a, you know, to make a Platinum Edition just a different color. Like the, you know, the blue Azrael Batman, which is which I still think is a bullshit release. <laughs> or the blue, you know, June Gordon Batman. Or, you know, the, the first appearance Batman with the blue gloves. I think that's fine. You know, if you just make a, the Platinum variant... The harder to find version of the figure just have a different paint job i think that is fine but making a platinum edition a completely different character with no you know original figure to base this the base the variant on makes no sense to make it a hard to find figure like there's a lot of people there's probably a lot of people who really want this reverse flash in their collection and, you know, people can't find it since it's so hard, you know, high in demand since it's, um, you know, a Platinum Edition and, you know, it's, you can't barely find it anywhere. The one I'm looking for 
is the Manhunter robots. Like, I really want that Manhunter robot, but no, I can't find it so easily since it's a Platinum Edition. And I'm very upset about that. Hopefully I find one because I really do want to talk about that one. But yeah, again, I'm not going to go too deep into it because we've already heard this a million times. But if you do want, you know, some help, they are hitting GameStops. Like, I, uh, people have been finding these Platinums at GameStop. And apparently the story is if you ask the cashier, they can give you the locations of where they are. Uh, like, in um, other GameStops. I don't know how true that is. I haven't tested it. But... This is where I found mine. I found mine at GameStop. So hopefully you guys can find it. I was just at GameStop the other day. And I found three Platinum figures. It wasn't any of the figures that I'm um, that aren't in this wave. It was just the Page Punchers, um, Ghost of Krypton, and the Blue Batman. So yeah, that's really it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.